Hello, everybody, and happy Thursday. We are almost to the weekend, which is always a good feeling. So thank you guys for coming back for today's Caitlin's Music City Skinny, talking things real estate and life in general. But um, I'm really excited. This is super fun for me to do, and I hope it it ends up being really helpful for you. So today we're going to be talking about top secrets of what to do to get your home photo shoot ready when you're going to sell. So this is something that I'm really, really passionate about and it's for a couple of reasons. So you really need to think about the way people are shopping online today. So that means they're, you know, if you if anyone is going out right now and they're looking for homes, chances are they're on Zillow, truly a realtor.com, and chances are they're looking at that from their phone. And so it's really, really important that your photos of your home stand out online so that when those buyers are doing the scroll, you stop the scroll. You make them wanna look at your home versus the other homes. And I cannot explain to you enough just the true importance of making sure that your photos pop because if you can't capture their attention in six seconds or less, they're on to the next house. And so there's a statistic out there that says that 64% of buyers that tour a home online will actually walk through the door. So if you're not capturing them online, chances are they're not going to walk through your door. So you really, you really, really, really want to make sure that your photos are popping online. And again, like just to try and drill this home a little bit more and the importance of it, I was out to dinner couple of weeks ago with some friends from Oklahoma and the wife said to me, cause they're home shopping in Oklahoma right now, but the wife said to me that if a home, if the first two or three photos when she's scrolling, if they don't capture her attention, she's already on to the next. So like that just further, like that was just further proof of like what I knew to be true is actually true for the way that buyers are shopping today. So let's jump into exactly how do you make your home pop? So. I'm always going to be a big advocate of staging regardless. Like I just, um, I, I can't stress the importance of it enough. And I know like the return on investment for it is huge. You know, homes that are staged typically sell faster and are going to sell for more money. So this is all like, some of this is going to be a little bit of staging, but I'm not even going to try and go into the science of staging because that's not my lane. And my wonderful stager is the one who can actually um, speak more on that because she is fabulous and she knows so much more about it than I do. But I can give you tips and tricks on how to prep your home prior to the staging being done. So the first thing you're going to want to do is going to declutter the home. And I know that a lot of times that can sound like a lot of work or it can sound negative, but it's really not meant to because at the end of the day, we're not trying to make you feel bad about your home. We're not trying to um, put it down in any way. Like it is a place that you have probably loved and been there for a little while. And we just wanna make sure though that we're taking the wonderful aspects of your home and we're really making them pop. And so in doing that, you wanna declutter. And I know that like if I were gonna go sell my place, I'd have to be doing the decluttering too. So it's not, I'm not trying to like tell people um, do all this stuff and like you think my home's perfect because it's not. So um, declutter is gonna be the first one. Or my stager, Kim, she does like, like to use the terms pre-pack. Um, so go ahead and put away all the knickknacks because when people see clutter, they're gonna think that the home is not, doesn't have enough storage and then, you know, people, that's gonna be seen as a negative. So you may not even realize that that's what's happening, but it is. Hi, Anson, I miss you. I'm so excited you're watching. Um, so, like I said, you're gonna wanna declutter. Also, get rid of the personalizations in the home. So if you've got a bunch of family photos on the wall or a bunch of knickknacks from your travels, it is best to just go ahead and pre-pack those, get those ready for your new home. Hi. <laughs> um, the number two is going to be you're going to want to accessorize and this is really where the help of a stager is going to come in so accessorize in terms of taking like white towels are really really popular to put in bathrooms it's just going to really give that clean spa like feeling that people really are drawn to um, you can also go as far as doing things like the little uh succulents and putting those like in cute little jars and strategically placing them in the home. 
But really the goal is, again, you just decluttered so you don't want to reclutter it with too many knickknacks, but certain strategically placed ones are going to be really good. And then also a pop of color. So right now it's like all of the, all the trends are going towards beige and neutral colors. So if your walls are crazy colors, um, it's, you're probably going to be <laughs> recommended to go ahead and strip it down to a neutral color, probably something similar to like what's behind me. But then when everything's so neutral, you're going to want that pop of color. So, or as my stager Kim says, a shot of happy. So whether that's putting like a flower vase of red flowers or yellow flowers, or, you know, maybe you're doing neutrals and you love blue, then really doing like a pop of maybe a nice navy pillow on the couch. So these are all just things that to think about. And then even talking about pillows, you're also going to want to make sure the pillows are fluffed. And I know when I say that, I immediately start thinking of that, um, that viral video of the guy that went around pretending to be like a mom who goes on a cre crazy cleaning spree before anyone shows up. And so, and he's always like, you gotta fluff the pillows. So that's what I think of. But um, yeah, fluff the pillows, straighten the curtains, uh, just really freshen up the home. Um, make sure that all the curtains are open because when someone's coming in, when the professional photographer is coming in, you're going to want to make sure that it's shown in the best light possible. And again, that that does, I kind of already jumped into number three. But um, like I said, just make sure that everything looks light and bright and open and airy. Um, even in the garage, if there's a you know way to make sure that the windows on the garage doors are clean so that the natural light comes in, that's going to be best. And then again before people come in to do the photography you're going to want a deep clean so um you know i know that that doesn't sound appealing so if you can hire someone to come do the deep clean and i'm meaning top of the fans baseboards all of the nooks and crannies that you don't typically get into you're going to want to do that before the photographer shows up because again you're just going to want to put your best foot forward when you're putting your home for sale and those photos are hitting online so that's pretty much my spiel for today um again it's super super important just to make sure that it is popping online because if um you know if buyers if that those photos aren't popping online chances are they're not even going to walk through the home and then you know you're losing out on a potential sale so we just want to make sure that you're set you set yourself up best for success and i'm here to help you do that and also um, i always offer a complimentary staging consultation as well for any and all of my selling clients so um, if you are wanting to learn more about what it is that you can do to really get your home ready to roll, then you can just go ahead and give me a call or always shoot me a message. I'm happy to help in any way that I can. And thank you guys for tuning in to Caitlin's Music City Skinny. I hope everyone has a fabulous Thursday and I will see you next week.